this Prada crystal bag is one of the trendiest or maybe it is the trendiest bag that I have in my collection. So in today's video, I'm going to keep it short and share with you my opinion if you should get this bag. I'll talk about pros and cons of this bag very, very briefly because there are so many videos on this bag already, but I just want to give you my perspective because I have been loving this bag, but I, at the same time, I can be objective to tell you, you whether you should kind of like tell you not to get this bag as well. But before I get started with this chit chat, I need to shamelessly plug my channel. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I love to do luxury related videos, handbags, especially I love skincare and makeup as well. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe because I have lots of content coming up, kind of planning them in my head and yeah, get notified as well. Ring that bell so that you won't miss out on any of the videos. And if you're watching this when I hit my 20K, then I hope that you'll still be in time for the giveaway because I have an amazing giveaway coming up when I hit my 20k. So yeah, subscribe, notification bell on, and then you will be notified when my giveaway video comes up as well. But for everyone else, thank you for listening to my shameless plug and let's get into this video. Let me start off with why you should get this bag. Firstly, look at it. It is like a silver, shiny, glistening diamond bag that when you look at it in the sunlight, it's like fire. The sunlight hits it in all directions and because the little plastic crystals kind of reflect each other, it's just, oh my gosh, it's like a rainbow diamond bag. It's so stunning. The camera does not do this bag justice. You need to go to store or find it somewhere, find somebody that has it and just so look at it, because this is a stunning, stunning bag. The second reason or why I think you should get this bag is the price. It is honestly a really reasonable price for a luxury bag with this amount of shine and this amount of detail that if you were to get it in any other luxury house, Chanel, Hermes, you know, the, the big ones, you will not be paying what this price is. So this bag is 2000, 2000 Singapore dollars. If you got it before that price, I think it was below 2000, but now I think it's 2000 Singapore, 2000, a little bit more than 2400 Singapore dollars. Honestly, it is still reasonable. Like what can you get at Chanel for $2,000? If this was Chanel bag, it would be, it, it would be six, seven, eight, nine thousand. It would be like crazy price because th that's just the way it is. But for Prada, they, I think they priced it well. Um, but I will talk about why you shouldn't get this bag as well in that pricing range. Honestly, it is more unique than their regular re-edition because it has these embellishments, because it's just a little bit more, I don't know, hefty. And because of this price, I feel like it's still a reasonable bag to get. Even though it is trendy, it's still a fun luxury item to pick up third reason why I feel like this is still a good bag to get is because it is actually really, really casual and functional. So I'm just going to quickly stuff this bag like a lot. And you know, if you're just using it to go out shopping, grocery shopping, a little bit of like a day out or a night out with your girlfriends or your boyfriends, really it's functional. I put several large items in this bag and you can see it's kind of like bulging here and there but it kind of looks okay because it still gives a casual really fun vibe. So let me take it out and you can see. I've put my rechargeable battery. I've got my entire Fendi Nano baggy wallet SLG <laughs> bag inside. I have uh, my Chanel round SLG, the one that's quite a thick, it's got lots of stuff inside. I have my whole handphone with the strap and all of that as well. And I still actually have space for more things, but I just wanted to show you that if you want to put like large items in this small bag, you can put, okay, I could stuff it even more, but you know, just for sharing sake and making it quick, this fellow, because it's like, you know, soft, it is... It's flexible, you can put a lot of things inside. It's actually a decent size bag, which is why I think people love the 
just the normal version without the diamantes, the nylon version, because you can put so much inside and it looks casual. This is like the up version. This is like the trendy, really sparkly in your face version, but it still holds so much. And the final reason why you should get this bag if you are eyeing it is that it is timeless. This may feel trendy now because it's all over social media and people are just, you know, carrying it everywhere and, you know, it's kind of trendy, right? Because it's class, you know, it's all these crystals. But take a step back from that and kind of imagine yourself when you're 50, 60 and you're still, you know, wearing your bags. It's light. It's a beautiful night out bag. Like if you're 60, you're going for some, maybe your daughter's wedding or your you know grandchildren's wedding. This is a beautiful event bag. It's not a bag that is like super colorful. You know what I mean? Like it's like maybe like my Valisette BB. That is to me not timeless. It's collector. But this is something that I feel it's timeless. You can wear this when you are going for events, when you're old. Plus it's light and even though it can be casual, it can be quite formal and it will not clash with gowns because of the sparkle. It is such a chameleon and I'm telling you, once the trend of this bag goes away and when people are like, you know, most people are like sick of it, when you have this bag 20 years down the line, I'm telling you, this is a talking piece. This is something that people are like, oh my gosh, this is so retro but still beautiful. I'm telling you, at this price today, you will, it's worth getting. It's still one of those fun, like, oh my gosh, sparkly things that you have in your cupboard. Because if you're having your entire cabinet full of just, I'm gonna say, boring bags, this is still something that has that bit of oomph, but not too much, where it's like a bright, multi-color bag that may be a little hard to style. All right, enough with the love. Let me give you a few reasons on why you shouldn't get this bag. And I'm going to be very objective about it. Firstly, it is a trendy bag, okay? <laughs> Take away what I said earlier. It is a trendy bag. And if you are not a person that wants a trendy bag, please don't jump on it. If you are content with your, you know, basic bags, bags that are kind of just classic all the way, then this would not suit your wardrobe even though you're thinking about it. It's sort of like people who say, oh, I need a pop of colour in my collection. And then you get a pop of colour, but that's actually not your style. You're not, either you're not brave enough, you don't find your outfits go with it. Then this is the same kind of concept. Is that pop of item in your collection. If you are not that kind of person and you feel like you're being drawn to it because it's that pop of something in your collection, then don't do it, okay? Trust me, don't do it because you will regret it. Just take a step back and ask yourself, are you going to be happy with that pop of XXX? And in this situation, it's a pop of fire and glisten and just, just beautiful, beautiful, but fire and glisten and just this in your collection. The second reason why I feel like you should not get this bag is that this is a satin bag. So wear and tear may be something to be concerned about over time. Now it's satin on the outside and the crystals are kind of heat stamped really tough onto the material. However, on the interior, it is satin. Now if you're a person that doesn't want to use any lining or you're just going to dump pens and paper inside, you know, things that are sharp into your bag, then I'm telling you, you will see a lot of wear because it is satin. Prada did tell me you can actually replace the satin. They will do it for you if it gets damaged. But being a satin bag, you will get that pe pi peeling. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, peeling if you're not careful. You've got like sharp fingernails, you're scratching inside. You know, leather also needs to be taken care of. But I feel like with satin, you need to be extra careful. So be con... Like be mindful of what you throw into the bag. Like if there are any sharp corners, don't put it inside. If there are like pens and all, please put them in like a plastic or put them wrapped up. Don't put pens actually, just don't. But if you have things that are, could like, could scrape and snag the material, then think about it, right? So if you're not careful, I do feel the interior will see wear faster than say their regular nylon or leather. Another reason why you should not get this bag is the resale value. Honestly, 
any other bags from any other brands, resale value is something that always comes up. And with Prada, I've had my own experience, their resale value isn't the best. So if you are a kind of person that does turn around your bags often and you want to see a profit or you want to get back your cost, this would, uh, I feel like you might lose some money on this. Don't buy bags to resell, but we can never tell the future. So if resale value is something that is very important to you, this would not be a good bag to get. I just feel like it's one of those bags that will lose its resale value over time. But having said that, because the price is not so high already, I don't feel like it's going to drop to like $100, $200. It will still be fairly reasonable. And it can be reasonable if you are using the bag. Like if you are using it, you're putting some wear you know, into it, then you decide to sell it. I feel like you can take a bit of that loss. But like I said, if resale value is something very important to you, then stick with the Trinity bags. Okay, Stick with Hermes, Chanel, even LV, because those you can at least get your cost back. But with most other brands, unfortunately, Prada, even though it's a beautiful bag, you will probably have to take a little bit of loss once you get this bag. So those are my quick thoughts on whether you should or should not get this bag. I have it and I do really love it. I feel like this is one of those bags that in five or six years time, when you know the trend has died down, the craze has died down, when I take this out, it still gets a lot of stops and stares. It's one of those bags. I just have a good feeling about it, which is why I bought it. Not a big Prada fan, but when I saw this bag, I was like, oh my goodness, that is, that's really, really pretty. And I actually thought forward, which I talked about earlier. I thought forward. I said, like, wow, maybe when I'm 50 or like 60 and I get invited to weddings, that's going to be a nice wedding bag. Like everyone is going to say, that's a nice bag and it's functional. So I, I really believe in the things that I said about getting the bag, but I also am objective to say that, you know, if you're considering on quote unquote investment pieces, this is definitely not an investment piece in that sense. You're not going to get more money out of this and you you probably will lose some, but it doesn't matter. If you are using your bag, you're loving your bag, you're putting, you know, mileage into your bag, doesn't matter. You buy what you love, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. And everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!